Hello everyone. Welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about defibrillation and its basics. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. What do we mean by a defibrillator? Defibrillator is an electronic device that applies an electric shock to restore the normal rhythm of a fibrillating heart. Defibrillation is a life-saving treatment for cardiac dysrhythmias. Next comes indications for defibrillation. It includes pulseless ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. Defibrillation is contraindicated in case of presence of a pulse asystole or pulseless electrical activity, obvious signs of death, valid DNR order. When we have a close look at this graph, patient is having ventricular fibrillation and defibrillation is given and thereby normal sinus rhythm is achieved. The chain of survival consists of early access, early CPR, early defibrillation and early ACLS. So it is clear that if defibrillation is given earlier the success rate is more and less success if it is delayed. Next comes operating modes of defibrillator. There are synchronous and asynchronous modes. In synchronous mode Heart's own pulses are taken into account for QRS triggering. And in asynchronous mode, it is reserved strictly for emergency defibrillations. Next comes cardioversion. Cardioversion is a medical procedure that converts irregular heartbeats to a regular heart rhythm. Cardioversion is the delivery of a shock that is synchronized with the patient's cardiac rhythm. We have discussed cardioversion in detail in one of our previous video and the link is given in the description below. Next comes types of defibrillators, manual external defibrillator, manual internal defibrillator, automated external defibrillator called AED, implantable cardioverter defibrillator and wearable cardiac defibrillator. Manual external defibrillator Manual defibrillators enable the operator to diagnose the ECG rhythm and then manually determine the voltage and timing of the shock through external paddles placed in the patient's chest. This can be handled only by a trained personnel. Next is manual internal defibrillator. The manual internal defibrillators use internal paddles to send the electric shock directly to the heart. They are used on open chests, so they are only common in the operating room. Next is Automated External Defibrillator, otherwise called AED. AED is of two types, fully automatic and semi-automatic. AED is a small portable device that is used to correct the life-threatening cardiac arrhythmias by delivering an electric shock. It uses voice and visual prompts to guide the rescuers to attempt defibrillation. AEDs can be used even by lay rescuers by following the instructions from AED. Next is Implantable Cardioverter Defibrillator. An implantable cardioverter defibrillator is a device implantable inside the body able to perform defibrillation. This device constantly monitors the patient's heart similar to a pacemaker. Next comes defibrillation waveforms. First one is monophasic. Here the current travels only in one direction as shown in the image. And moreover, it requires more energy levels, up to 360 joules, in order to convert ventricular fibrillation and pulseless ventricular tachycardia to a normal sinus rhythm. Next is biphasic waveform. Here, current travels in two directions as shown in the picture, and this requires less electrical energy. Defibrillation success achieved with lower energy and voltage. Device-dependent amount of energy is 
150 to 200 joule for first defibrillation and 200 to 360 joule for all others whereas it is always 360 joules with monophasic wave. Next is shock energy for defibrillation. In biphasic manufacturer recommendation example initial dose of 120 to 200 joules if unknown use maximum available second and subsequent doses should be equivalent and higher doses may be considered in monophasic it is always 360 joules here comes positioning pads on adults first is anterior to anterior position place one paddle near the second or the third right sternal border and the other paddle on the cardiac apex the other method of positioning the pads on adults is anterior to posterior position. Here one paddle is placed on the cardiac apex and the other paddle is placed on the left infrascapular region as shown in the picture. This is also called as front to back position and as I said before, place the front pad over the cardiac apex between the midline of the chest and nipple on a male victim or under the breast on a female. Next, coming to the steps of manual defibrillation, switch on the machine, wait for initialization and self-test, make sure it is not in synchronous mode, apply gel to the paddles, place them properly on the chest, select energy to be delivered that is energy in joules, press charge button. Wait for charging to complete. This is usually denoted by a beep sound. And this sound may be a long beep sound. Apply pressure to the paddles. And this pressure should be 25 LBs. Call all clear for 3 times. Make sure all personnel are away from patient, bed and the equipments. Press both discharge button simultaneously. Observe patient and monitor ECG. If required, defibrillate again. When finished, turn off and clean the paddles. Every time after the completion of shock, CPR is resumed. Next comes AED. Steps of handling AED. Make sure the victim and you are safe. If the victim is unresponsive and not breathing normally, send someone for the AED and call for resuscitation team. Start CPR. Switch on the AED and attach the electrode pads without interrupting CPR. Follow the audiovisual commands. Ensure that nobody touches the victim whilst the AED is analyzing the rhythm. If a shock is indicated, Ensure that nobody touches the victim. Push the shock button as directed. Continue as directed by the voice or visual prompts. If no shock is indicated, immediately resume CPR using a ratio of 30 compressions to 2 rescue breaths. Continue to follow the AED prompts until the resuscitation team arrives or victim starts to breathe normally. So here you go with defibrillation. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.